A Nanaimo man is telling his story of post-traumatic stress disorder after a horrible accident more than two years ago. He witnessed a deadly train and car collision that killed two people and seriously injured another. And what he saw caused nightmares, sleep deprivation and anxiety. Kendall Hansen has the story. Brent Stetter is riding his bike just as he was in October of 2009 when he witnessed the aftermath of a collision that impacted him much more than he ever would have expected. I've had other experiences that were, I thought, more traumatic than this. Didn't see the actual accident, but just the, the results of it as I came up about a block here away with the car rolling off of the, the train and uh, we came up to the site. It was a cloudy afternoon when the car went onto the tracks just before the train struck it. The car was thrown and claimed the lives of parents Roseanne Perot and Lyle Hall. It also severely injured their son Andrew Hall, who was in the back seat. I'm a financial planner by trade and that's what I do for my clients is plan things and it just seems so random and something you can't necessarily plan for and just my heart went out for, for that son. Over the next several months, Stetter started having nightmares about the incident and he couldn't sleep and then his health started unraveling. I had been unable to go to work, I had been unable to have conversation, I couldn't speak properly, uh, everything was affected. After going to a mental health clinic on the advice of a friend, he was eventually diagnosed after close to a year with post-traumatic stress disorder, something that is very treatable. I have never had a case where somebody has not gotten better. The range of symptom reduction is about 60 to 100 percent. Dr. Melanie O'Neill treated Stetter and says it's not always the most traumatic experiences that might set off the disorder. Sometimes I, I see people who've been in car accidents and it might be even just a minor fender bender on Bowen Road, but they end up with severe PTSD because they had their children in the car and they feel like they've put their children at risk. If I can make this event not about me, but about, you know, what can happen to, you know, a regular person, a, a functioning person in society that just goes completely off the rails through no fault of their own. Stetter is much better now. He's back at work and able to revisit the scene of the crash. He's hoping if others face similar circumstances, his story might help them recognize the symptoms.